Welcome back to 10 Minutes of Shop. Thanks for tuning in. As always, join the Patreon. We're doing stand-up reviews. We have two bonus episodes. One just came out with our buddy Miguel, yeah. where we get different. Uh, look at you guys. <laughs> Gerardo has shows. You have shows this yeah, week, right? I heard it both ways. B, I uh, have a show October 15th at the Ontario Improv. Mm -hmm. Thank him. That's it. Oh, okay. Well, that's <laughs> not even why you're here, though. You're here, as always, for 10 Minutes of Shop. So yes. play the chin clip. Start the timer now. No ice. All righty. Well, we got a short episode this week, dude. We've been we've been doing hour and a halfers, mm -hmm. and I'm already tired, dude. How oh, are you yeah? feeling? Are you tired? Well, you know what you got to do. Take that kratom and strap the fucking. <laughs> I think kratom would make the situation worse, but probably. I don't know what it. We we've been debating that for a while now. We got this clip coming up here, dude. It's posted by All I Do Is Lie to You. It's called Bapa knew the severity of the Aaron Rodgers injury before everyone else via text with his inside guy who works for the Jets. Nostra Bapas. Nostra Bapas, dude. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know what it's like to be Aaron Rodgers. I know there's not a more competitive person on this earth, <laughs> and I doubt he goes out like that. And with science and technology, they could get him back by next year. You're mm -hmm. crazy if you think Aaron Donald's going to, I mean, Aaron, Aaron Rodgers Donald. can go out like that. There's no way. <laughs> He's not, huh? No, no. And the, the bummer is their, their star receiver as he's getting caught off. He oh, looks at him and goes, sorry, kid. Because yeah. he would have made that kid's life, dude. That kid would have been all pro. Sorry, he looked at him and went, sorry, kid. That mm. sauce gardener. That, that made me that made me cry. Oh, want to cry. <gasps> sorry, kid. He knew. Did you those, those, did, he knew, didn't he? Oh, everyone knew. Yeah. yeah. So when he. I knew it, five minutes into it. You did? I got confirmation five minutes into it. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> from someone that works on the Jets. Because I was like, uh, I was texting him the guy. I'm like, maybe it's just a high ankle sprain. He goes, nope, fully ruptured Achilles out for the year. <laughs> Does that mean good. the Achilles snapped? Yeah, snapped. Oh, oh my God. It was it get, it, it I just, was bummed for the entire night all yesterday. Things. I've been bummed all week about it. Yeah, It's just one of those things. There's nothing <laughs> funny about a torn Achilles. No. But somebody in that studio was laughing when Papa said he knew before everyone <laughs> else. <laughs> I bet, dude. I mean, I, and also... I like that Shab said that the, the kid was uh, the kid, the wide receiver. Yeah. So Rogers going to build the ground he walks on. Not going to happen, you know. Mm -hmm. Not as ridiculous because his leg is ridiculous <laughs> now. But yeah, I mean, what are the chances that a coach on the Jets is like, I uh, got to get back to Bapa immediately yeah. about Aaron Rodgers, our star that we uh, just got this year? That's the whole mm -hmm. season is riding on him. He's the most important thing and maybe just history yeah. maybe other than Joe Namath ever heard of him. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, what do you think about that? Uh, I think it's black bustle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that uh, his Achilles tour. Yeah, that's uh, uh, I think it's neg fligs mm -hmm. that Brendan Schaub immediately made it about himself, dude. Yeah, dude. yeah. <laughs> he brought it back to what's important, dude. <laughs> dude Scoob. That's Scoob what we got for, the dude. scoop. Yeah, from his good friend on the Jets coaching uh, squad. Yeah, yeah. Interest, interesting. Very interesting that Baba knows so much and so many people. Dude, yeah, he's he's the redacted Forrest Gump, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's been all everywhere. Yeah, yeah most of every important thing that's happened in history, Baba was there. Instead of Jenny, he's like Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Is that funny? Uh, you know, it's, I like that it's a Forrest Gump reference. <laughs> all right, this next one's posted by uh, British Tony Soprano. Oh. It's called. Did anyone catch the food truck diaries with Cody Garber? Ran to before we leave. 
<laughs> Do you know what that reference is? I'm guessing it's him botching the name. Oh, good. for sure. Best right? brains, B. Thank you. Thanks for watching this episode of Food Truck Dives <laughs> with Cody Garrett. But before we leave, <laughs> for watching this episode of Food Truck Dives with Cody Garrett. But before we leave, <laughs> of course he's wearing a jersey. <laughs> yeah, dude. Thanks for watching this episode of Gerardo Alarcon. We gotta get out of here soon. <laughs> but before we leave, <laughs> dude, you fucking ask me how to say Cody Garrett. We gotta go today. We gotta. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Welcome to this Monday crisp morning. Yeah. Name the movie. <laughs> Name the movie. <laughs> that would be a good uh, bio biograph biographic uh, film about him. What's that? Chris Monday. Yeah. Good yeah, name. Dude. Good name. Or a good name for a comedy special. Ooh. Chris Monday morning. Chris. Yeah. Just Chris. If he leaned in a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Get and like spell it how he pronounces it. Oh, I think we're furthest from him leaning in because, dude. Mm. By the way, there's a long clip on Chang's right now. Mm -hmm. We only have like, what, uh, maybe 10 clips today, mm -hmm. but there's a long clip on Chang's right now of them talking about the whole podcast one situation. Oh, yeah. And I got to say, dude, it is TFAT K. It's best, dude. Oh, yeah. You know why? Why? They're talking numbers, dude. Perfect. Money. Love it. You know what I mean? And controversy. Look at you guys. So I think Bapa right now is the furthest from leaning into this shabism stuff, you know? Probably not. I mean, and I didn't want to talk about this, but we also were taken advantage of by cast media. That's why all the mats are gone. We yeah. put our mats into uh, the investment with Colin Thompson yeah. and, you know. I couldn't even look at him. You know, I was like that. fucking Colin, dude. But you know what? As I said, I, you fuck with the wrong Gerardo, okay? Because yeah. we have a voice yeah, we have a, a platform yeah. and we say no to podcast. Well, I listen to Jocko willing dude. So when they took the mats, I was like, <laughs> good. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, you want to take all the soundproofing? Good. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. You heard it here. Yeah. Good. Yeah, dude. Jocko. Yeah, I wake up at 4 a.m. I say good. <laughs> yeah, dude. And then I go. <laughs> <"Owner alert."> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. I wake up at 4 a.m. because I got to pee and I can't stop peeing all the time. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, dude, when I watch fucking T Fat K and he botches the word, I go, good. <laughs> well, that actually is good. Though. Yeah, yeah. That's like a positive. Yeah. Thing. But yeah, you got to look at everything like Jocko does. It doesn't matter, dude. Yeah. When the Jets let me know that they had to tell Bapa first, I say, good. good. Yeah. And you're a Jets fan, dude. Yeah, dude. Your ball's deep in Jets. <laughs> yeah. When I was like tra uh, challenging one of my employees to a race and he won and I had a hamstring injury, I was like, good. <laughs> Yeah, dude. When I had to fire Mark Harley, I said, good. <laughs> You're Bapa now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So this one's uh, posted by Johnny with a bunch of underscores. It's called I'd bet a personal day. What does that mean? Like a day off at work? Uh, Is maybe. Personal day? Yeah, maybe. Good. I, I'd bet a personal day that Floyd actually said, white boy who talks too much. I'll be here all weekend, folks. <laughs> Pandemic, it's like, oh, I work too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I knew I worked too much because when I saw Floyd, I was like, I don't know who I am. And he's with his entourage, and we're, I'm walking in the restaurant, and he's walking out, and he goes, oh, you that white boy that works too much. That's what he said? Yeah. He said, I see you everywhere, man. You that white boy works too much. And I was like, yeah, I got a problem. Yeah, it feels Floyd good. Says, it feels good. Wow. You know who I am, but yeah. also I panned mm -hmm. Dude, I feel like if, oh, I didn't have the that clip on screen, but you guys don't need this good. Uh, <laughs> didn't see yeah. it. We didn't play the clip that we wanted you to see. Good. good. You just saw us watching it. Good. Yeah, but you know that famous clip already. You've yeah, seen, you've seen it. Well, he said this twice now. This is on T Fat K. He says the white boy that works too much, and then he's on Two Bears One Cave. This is a new one. This can't be new. No, this isn't new. This it's old, probably right? old. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. he says he says it all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He seven times a week. <laughs> Papa's whole th thing is like he looks for places where he could do name drops, dude. Yeah. You know, and while in, in that alchemy of what's happening in his head of him looking for name good, you know, <laughs> name drops, you know what I mean? <laughs> he's he's fucking up so many words while trying to find name drops. Yeah, he fuck the prom at the end, <laughs> yeah. but at least uh, Bapa in this one. I don't know if he said in the other one, too, but he was like, probably doesn't know who I am. Yeah, there's a little bit of a I don't matter. I don't count there an ounce of self-awareness an ounce of self-awareness, right? Yeah. But then he then of course he has on his on the upside down Dodgers hat. Yeah. So there's not going to be too many smart thoughts coming out. Oh shit. Is this a Dodger hat with the LA upside down? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That's going to get me every time. 
<laughs> I'm ridiculous. Ridic- uh, all right, let's go to the next one. This one's posted by Khabib Time. It's yeah. called Giraffe Kings had to <laughs> giraffe because of giraffe with the yeah. D. Oh yeah. Giraffe Kings had to change the promo code because <laughs> Papa kept spelling his last name wrong. Good. <laughs> let's see. I partnered up with my friends at DraftKings, and there's so much to bet on. There's so much to make money on. Here's the deal. All you got to do is place a $5 bet and can win 200 in bonus bet. That's right. <laughs> in bonus bet. In bonus bet. $5, you get 200 in bonus bets. Instantly, <laughs> all you got to do is use the promo code Brendan. You're off to the races. DraftKings, promo code Brendan. Enjoy. There we go. See, nice, man, nice, nice. Good work, dude. Good. Yeah, he delivered that well. I think. Yeah. All they need to do is make a change. For some reason, Brendan is easier to do than Shab. Yeah. Well, he I, didn't I, spell it though. Halfway into it, it sounds like what the DraftKings guy sounded like to him. Mm-hmm. Like, DraftKings promo code. Boom. That's it. Please. <laughs> no <Yeah>. more <laughs> kratom talk. No <laughs> whiskey talk. There's like a super tired guy behind the camera. Like, all right, yeah. all right. Take 150. Brandon. Jesus Christ. Please just say <laughs> yeah. the script. Yeah. All and you got to say, uh, let's change it. Your last name's too hard. Last name, I don't want to hear it. Just Brendan, okay? Promo code Brendan, DraftKings. All right. Welcome back to DraftKings. I'm your host, Brendan Schaub. <laughs> welcome to like, Food Truck Diaries. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> also, what's, what, why is it such a. It's like, it sounds like it's very important that he does this quickly. He doesn't get behind the microphone or anything. He's just like right here, chin mm. chin's like right here. He's yeah. Like, Good. <laughs> well, it's a promo. <laughs> yeah. And it's an IG story promo. Damn. They yeah. paid him for that. They paid him for an IG story. Wow. They should have asked for the engagement numbers before dude. <laughs> I'm just, I don't, I'm just capping dude. Obviously his engagement is a lot better than mine. So who am I to talk about men on your ways? Yeah. Good point. Good point. Yeah. Only a hundred people see my stories. Good. <laughs> <laughs> DraftKings is not knocking on my door, dude. No, nah, no. Nah. You got to be a duck, not a hawk. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> be a duck, not a hawk. Dude. <laughs> All right. So this one's posted by cap and autism zero. That's a strange name. Um, hopefully he has it. Let's see. This one's called. How does anyone listen to this moron speak? Why does he sound like that? Is his head full of mucus? He sp- is that how you spell mucus? I don't know um, if that's I how you spell music. Maybe it's two C's. Sound off in the comments. And also, the your charity won't get my friend famous enough. Oh, what? you're right, dude. It's three C's, dude. <laughs> if it's mucus yeah. without three C's, it ain't good for me, dude. No, that's just mucus without the salsa on top, baby. Good. <laughs> here's the thing, but here's the thing. Bradley wants a fight. He want, like he's asked me like he wants me to find him a fight. Oh, you want to fight? I want an MMA fight though. I don't want to box. Hey, why don't we do why don't we do this thing with you? What? We can do it for the we can do it for like a podcast. We do it for a show. So my buddy Rich Chow, he does this whole Wimps to Warrior. They train you. They come in. They put you in a gym. They train you for six to eight weeks, and they schedule you a fight, and they make it like a charity event. Mm. It's a big it, deal, oh, bro. Let me, can I? Can go I, ahead. Go all right. I'm sorry. Here's the problem. <laughs> so from Wimps to Warriors, I don't know who they've had on there. Okay. The issue is, is Bradley is very successful in his space. Yeah. So he wants someone of equal clout. Or Which is very hard help. to find. He's very, very, in his face, you, you yeah, you for like yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying. So maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe we, maybe we find another YouTuber fighter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe, I'm we, not, find another, not, maybe we find another, maybe we find another. Jesus Christ. It's just dude. so funny that like Schaub, Schwab is very bad at talking. Yes. This is well established. Yet he always interrupts so he can talk for other people. Yeah. What is that? What are yeah. we doing here? Wait, wait, can I finish, dude? <laughs> yeah. You just some like it's fine. It's coming if it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon <laughs> Caballero, we'll be right back. Soon, yeah. <laughs> yeah, can I finish, dude? DraftKings, the fucking promo code Brandon comes because good. I love the idea of him because when you do something like that, you're nervous. You're trying to hit whatever you're supposed to say. Yeah, and Brandon doesn't say the last name, so he's like, in his stupid brain, he's like, I'll save it by saying, we'll be right back. (laughs) But it's so much weirder like that. And why wouldn't they edit that out? And you know what else, too, is Brendan's rhythm of speech, the pacing of it is like unpredictable, dude. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you had to predict his pacing as like a squid game, Mm. you're dead, dude. Nobody's winning that game. Right. It's like jazz. It's the words that he doesn't mispronounce. There you go. Nice, dude. That's the most Profound thing you've ever said on 10 minutes of shop, dude. You liked it. You yeah. liked the way I said that. Thank him. <laughs> you Eight like inches me. <laughs> <laughs> We're just fucking stupid, dude. We do this I love every my friend, week, bro, dude. dude. 
<laughs> it doesn't change. It's so funny that we do this every change. week. <laughs> Good. I don't Good. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. It wasn't funny. Good. <laughs> <laughs> we just finished watching a 20 minute video about Chris D'Elia. Good. Good. We hated the guy that did it. Yeah. Good. It made me more tired before the episode. Good. <laughs> it made me question everything that we're doing. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this one's posted by Dicey Redact. It's called Your Pussy Lips Are Showing, dude. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Train have the biggest dick in the train. <laughs> Look at those people. You're out of your mind. If we didn't have a dick size contest, if I don't d- d- dominate that dick contest, right? Everyone right. in this room would dominate. Okay, oh, just well. looking at hey, don't you dare. Well, don't you dare. Serious. Hey, well. <laughs> I'll speak well, for myself. I'm not gonna. No, if, if, if there's odds here, me and Brian are minus seven thousand here. I would imagine that's probably. And good. I've seen Brian's, and I'm gonna lose that. I would like that to thing run. Is Juicy. I got Oh, really, dude? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I forgot about the <laughs> reviews. Reddit has a man jotting up. Reddit has a man. <laughs> what? Finally, the audience and even you know, from um, Step Brothers. Oh, really? I think so. Brendan has a man jotting Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. That's right. When we forgot about maybe uh, the ground that built this truck we walk on. Yeah. The, the mangina picture. Remember how he's like, here's your clip with the fan. Or, Picture of you with a man, Gina. Yeah, but heard it both ways, B. I'm a huge fan of Brendan Chubb. Right. So his dick is huge. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Dude. No, no, Brendan. No. If I, but like, listen, at the risk of sounding exactly like Chubb, mm-hmm. um, if, if I was a betting man, I would put that it was bigger than eight inches. Because he I talks. I said eight inches only because the shop isn't, but it's probably less than eight inches. I, yeah, I wouldn't have any way of guessing. Who knows? Somebody shared with me today uh, on an, an Instagram DM. Hmm. He might go by the name of Miguel. Uh, it was a post of a doctor talking about in Spanish, micro pene, which means, you know, hmm. micro penis. Right. And the doctor at the end said, share this with somebody that you think has a micro penis. <laughs> I, got gadouche, gadouche, gadouche you? <laughs> I got good douche by a Mexican doctor, dude. Good. Good. Stuff, you know, you know why? Because they're spicy. <laughs> Yeah. Spicy, which means assholes. <laughs> we do. We were at an open mic and a uh, comic said that they have a Latina friend. So, you know, she's spicy and I've never seen Brendan move so fast. Yeah. Well, I may. I wanted to make eye contact so we could get a big laugh. Together. Yeah. Yeah. You turned straight looking at me and I was like, oh my God. Shabisms in the wild are my favorite thing. When yeah. people do it by accident. Another <laughs> yeah. guy literally did the vaccine thing where he's like, dude, they should just tell people that it makes your dick big. <laughs> Blew my mind. They said that. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn dicks down to here. If I told you I was an open micer, you would agree. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All types of Brendan Schaub jokes. All right. So this one, this next one's posted by NJH410. It's called Bapa pretending he's a mechanic now. Drug walk 2.0. It is kind of cool that he got a truck. He's like, th- that to me, good. <laughs> he's leaning into it a tiny bit. Sure. And, but also be faithful. You know what I'm saying? Doug? <laughs> like, ask your wife to go for a truck walk. Let's see. Yeah. Fam, this is what we're doing today. Kiddos are off at school. <laughs> I'm going to start modding this thing out. Yeah. Uh, this first one is just cosmetics. It's sh- super easy uh, one to do here. So my issue is this RAM. See how it's kind of gray? Drives me nuts. I got problems. It's an OCD thing. Problems. Uh, so the option was to either do that in black or you could just replace it with this. <laughs> So we shall see. So the plan is to take TRX. that, put it on there. I got my fishing wire. I got the blow dryer. And then oh, hopefully boots. it looks all right. If not, <laughs> it's easy dig. to replace. But first mod coming up after this, we'll start getting to the engine, the exhaust, and all that other stuff. So we'll see. Riveting, dude. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and you know what, dude? Huge Brandon Chop fan. You're looking at him right here. Yeah. So I do keep up on his stories randomly, right? And I happen to watch the truck saga mm-hmm. of him buying the truck. Mm-hmm. Same exact thought, dude. I was like, there's not a chance he works on trucks. Yeah. I, I mean, it seems unlikely. He's not, but maybe I, when did he get the truck? He got it last week since okay. the, like, you know, after all this podcast, 1.6 million get, 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 get money. Right. They lost with, that on you. Yeah. And also the hubris of them being like, oh, this is good for us. <laughs> it's like, you know, 
I, Gerardo would do the same thing. I'm like, I'm buying a big truck, dude. You know, mm-hmm. and then you know the just legal proceedings happen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just like pray that we win in court. <laughs> yeah. Somebody messaged me about him buying the truck. They were like, "Oh, look, Bob is really a truck guy now, or a truck walk or mm-hmm. whatever." But I didn't realize he was saying that he just bought the truck. Oh yeah, he just bought it this last week. Yeah. Yeah. What is what that thing said? TRX on it, right? Do you know yeah. what that is? Um. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> it should say TMOS on it, dude. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah well, should, that would be great. If some yeah. editors at Chang's were like, they re-edited that clip. And he's like, I got this. Yeah, it's like, I can either make it black, right? Or I can put this bad boy on it. <laughs> and it's just TMOS. With me in your face. Or yeah. Or it's just your, it's Gerardo's face. And then he like takes it. <laughs> it shows him putting it on. That'd be great. Yeah, dude. That'd be a great clip. Homeless never seen as it. fuck. Yeah. That would make me even more homeless. Yeah, that would be cool if anyone at that worked at the truck place was uh, homeless. Yeah, dude, because they would probably just be laughing in the corner like he's <laughs> really buying a truck right now. Oh, my God. Yeah. What if you saw him buying a, a truck? You're just there. Oh, my gosh. That'd be crazy. Like, now you really can't are, do a truck. Well. All, all the rumors are true. Good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go to this one. It's posted by all I do is lie to you. It's called Hey Rinks. How did booking venues larger than a chuckle hut go? Ouch. Ouch. And God damn it, Melbourne, Florida, King Center, September 23rd, uh, Saturday. And then I go right over Genesee Theater, Waukegan, Illinois, on a Sunday at 7 o'clock. And I know you guys are dying to come out on a Sunday. We'll see you there. <laughs> King Center, yes. um, Melbourne, Florida, September 23rd, Genesee Theater, September 24th, in Waukegan, Illinois. I'll see you there, everybody. I am no longer at the King Center in Melbourne, Florida. And I'm not going to be doing the Genesee Theater, I don't believe, uh, September 24th in Waukegan. We're going to reschedule those. That's a goddamn lie. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Why do they have to reschedule? Uh, T-ball shit? Listen, dude. His kiddos are probably older than me. Right. So it wouldn't be T-ball. Roasted, dude. <laughs> Fucking old ass piece of shit. Good. Yeah, rinks. Good. Oh, they, they roasted me on Timos again? Good. <laughs> uh, sorry. That's what he's saying, yeah. Uh, I'll never do the good again after this week. That clip I mean, is I think just it's so pretty good. funny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's it called? I think he probably didn't sell a lot of tickets, but I w- he sold more tickets than we would in Melbourne, probably. Yeah, that's nuts. He could even try in yeah. Australia. They know who Brian Callen is there. So what I'm trying to say is my rationale is he probably sold enough tickets to do a show and get, 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 have a good time, mm. but not enough to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to fly to Australia. Right. And Australia is not touching this temple. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> also, too, you got a Sunday show like I'm not going to go to a sun. Like, I don't even go to open mics on Sunday, dude. Yeah. Let alone Australia. Plus, there's seven days ahead. So he probably knew right away there weren't yeah. enough tickets. And, you know, he loves probably Chick-fil-A, dude. And Chick-fil-A's closed on Sundays. It goes against his fucking uh North Star, B. I'm just trying to make a red <laughs> Wait, joke. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to make a Republican joke, but I can't. I mean, if I like that guy, one show in Australia, what's the whole point? Are you just yeah. going there for vacation? Does it pay that much? Or it's two, shows, two, shows, two shows. Melbourne and Genesee Theater. Oh, well, I'm not really a numbers guy, so. Yeah, you know, you never been. <laughs> <laughs> never been. <laughs> Australia is a great place, but you're right. I've never been. <laughs> <laughs> it, dude, well, I need to take a plane that takes me seven days ahead, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, so this one's posted by Ryan Joseph oh, 82 he had some amazing clips on the last uh, episode. So. Yeah, it's called the uh, Brendan adds so much to the golden hour. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> it's just crazy. You know, what so about like, the umbilical cord? I cut that. Yeah, I cut time. it. Yeah, you I did. Cut you first cut one it. I cut, second one I go, arr, arr. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> They're a comedy team, dude. Yeah, they're just like Will Ferrell and uh, yeah. What's the other guy in Step Brothers? Sorry to put you on the spot. John C. Riley. John C. Riley. That is like a Will Ferrell, John C. Riley clip. You I'm going to do the same thing to you. They're like uh, Oliver Hardy and what's the other guy's name? A uh, Laurel. Damn Laurel, it, Laurel. Uh, Fuck somebody. I was hoping you wouldn't know. <laughs> Laurel and Hardy. Good. Almost tried to get Brendan. Good. Yeah, too good for you. I yeah. got the best brains. B. You come at the king. You best miss. Yeah. I'm trying to mess up. They're, they're like, firing on all cinders. <laughs> they're like Daniel Plainview and what's the other guy's name? What are you talking about? I'm the smartest tool in the shed, Papa. <laughs> smartest H- tool H- in the shed. HW Plainview. H. That's isn't that the name of that guy? No, oh, HW oh, is my son. son HW. Yeah. We are family business. We're family business. We watch T Fat K together. <laughs> we never miss an episode. Good. You say that I don't watch Brendan Schaub. You're a liar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> other people will say they watch Brendan Schaub, but do they know? 
what Brian does, uh, or what Brian shows are in Australia. Do they know when they are? I can tell you when they'll be. They won't ever happen. They'll be canceled. <laughs> Redact in a basket. Redact in a basket. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've abandoned my shop. <laughs> I'm redacted. I've abandoned my clips. <laughs> I've abandoned I'm redacted. my chin. I'm redacted. <laughs> All right, let's go. This is the last clip for the day, dude. Oh, this is a 30 minute episode, dude. Damn. That's, it's almost as long as uh, Gringo Poppy, dude. I mean, yeah, it's true. That's very long. Gringo Usually Poppy we just do 10. 47 minutes long. Yeah. Time for, my, time for our favorite time of the week. <laughs> All right, so this one's posted by Ryan Joseph 82. It's called uh, Is Shop Trying to Get Canceled? <laughs> Let's see here. Look at that face, dude. With a stranger, but check her out. She looks. I mean. She has the heavies. She has so the she was apparently. She has the government heavies. I mean, they look insane. She was apparently vaping and making a ton of noise. That's why they had to kick her out. Hey, nothing wrong with vaping, dude. Yeah. Hey, leave vaping alone, yeah. dude. Be cool, Chin. Be oh, cool. vaping is not cool anymore? Good. <laughs> this is to give context about Lauren Boeber, congressman in uh, Colorado or something like that, right? I have no clue what they're talking about. Yeah, they're talking about the Congressman. She got kicked out of like Beetlejuice. Oh, the movie? Um, there's a play now. Oh. Yeah. And uh, in the clip, I've seen it. Um, he, like, Her date is grabbing her boobs and she's uh, touching his uh, dig. Whoa. And yeah. she's on in Congress? Mm-hmm. She got kicked out for like making a scene or something. I'll tell you what. Not my Congresswoman, dude. It's like, this is a play, not a truck walk. Yeah. You're not, not your congressman. Who's your congressman? No, I just wanted to say that. Oh, okay. Not my president. Like, not dude. my, yeah, not my president. Yeah, dude. Oh, oh, congresswomen are getting fingered at the movies? Good. <laughs> she ain't got no merch. <laughs> Good time. And you'll see her here. And then she, she argued with security. No but watch, check her out. Check out these sweater puppies. They're coming up right now. Check out these White House hitters when they come through. Yeah. Oh, boy. Boom. There's more. But what was the problem? She, she was, was vaping? vaping in a musical, making too much noise. She you know, musicals va- you're not supposed to. She do. was vaping or giant tits were <laughs> a distraction, Brian. I mean, she looks hot. I had no idea she was this hot. Yeah, me neither. And she's from, uh, I think she's she's a congresswoman in Denver or Colorado. She's got. Some, yeah, this is nine news. That's my knockers. old stomping ground. What do they edit out? out? Like, what do they edit out of these clips? They don't edit anything out. They don't. That's almost like brave, mm-hmm. right? Like that is almost like. Uh, a cool thing. I mean, we just did an episode of Raccoon Tweeties. Check it out if you haven't seen it yet. So much editing. Yeah, we're, we're balls deep in yeah. taking shit out that's bad. Oh, yeah, dude. We were talking I mean, about women on earwaves. We were like, oh, got to cut that part out, dude. Yeah, for sure. You we know what will I mean? edit out stuff that's blog bust. Yeah. They have no... He's just sitting there. He's like, look at her tits, man. Yeah. Fucking tits are good, dude. Oh, look at those snowflake nipples. He's <laughs> like saying... <laughs> yeah, things that don't even make sense. Yeah. Look at those big cars. <laughs> Damn. Look at those two trucks walking off her chest, dude. Those are four wheelers on her chest, dude. <laughs> four wheeler boobs. <laughs> they, maybe they had to stop the play because of her big fucking tits, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, <laughs> look at that chest tundra. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Yeah, dude. Control. Bapa fucking. What do you, you got to take care of yourself, bro. <laughs> Jack off or something. For reals, dude. I don't know. I normally wouldn't suggest that, but if you're having these thoughts. I'll say if Baba's not jacking off, I am fucking impressed. Dude. Yeah, start. <laughs> Honestly, dude. Like if, <laughs> dicey, dicey. I've never taken Adderall before, but I'm assuming the first thing I'm doing is hands in the pants. You know what I mean? It was just so weird, dude. The whole like, th- there was like five uh, boob riffs yeah. in a row. He's, he can't control himself. Oh, he's, dude. He's an animal. You trying to cage Baba? Good luck, dude. <laughs> Good. I'm like, dude, you should be like a duck, not a hawk, bro. You know what I mean? Got him ever heard of him <laughs> twice in an episode. You said it the wrong way, though. You got to be a hawk, not a I duck. I know. I like to mix it oh, around. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Good. Well, dude. Dude, good. Good. Hello. Kathy Sabin. She's, got I mean, some... she's just dancing with their, their partner. Well, the you know. Unidentified the dude. Is that is that her husband or No, un- unidentified. So obviously someone she's seeing or dating. It's a UFO. That's the guy going to get his wiener <laughs> out between his two big tits. She's, mm. she's a cutie. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, she's Beetlejuice. a cutie pie. Yeah, there's this thing that the death of comedy is happening, dude. Oh, yeah? Yeah, dude, because there's this thing about this Brian Callen speech <laughs> where it's just you say regular things, uh-huh. but you talk like this. <laughs> You know, I love this. Yeah. You, I love, oh, I love. you're going to love it, dude. <laughs> oh, that's what 
I want you to do, dude. It makes me mad when he doesn't do it during the show. Yeah. Like right now he's kind of just being like the normal guy. I don't yeah. like that. I, I know that whole podcast one uh, clip we watched before the show. Yeah. Good. The whole good yeah, thing is boring. Yeah. Dude, him talking normally is like, why is there even a microphone in your mouth, dude? You got to I like the annoying character. Un- yeah. Unlike with Shab, where I feel like there's some things he needs to change. Mm-hmm. Brian is perfect as that ridiculous. Yeah. Eh, good. Like your yeah. way you're doing it. And then also um, just uh, like the and high intensity kind of shit that he does. But what's good it. about the Brian thing is that he'll speak normally and then randomly talk like this. Yeah. You know? The funny just doubled up. Yeah. Yeah, I got to get in there and I'm fatten it up. You know, I'm going to fatten it up. Or whatever <laughs> so he says. Let's, let's double up the funny on the fucking podcast one situation, dude. Hmm. He's like, you know, usually we get, get paid in lump sums every three months. I think it's on a net 90 <laughs> right uh. and they gave us <laughs> we they stole four hundred and sixty five thousand dollars damn so so i was on the phone with colin and he was telling me listen okay you're not gonna get your money <laughs> and then a coyote came out of nowhere <laughs> and bit his leg off <laughs> <laughs> you got to do the coyote afterwards. Yeah, I, yeah, you're right. You know? but you got you saved me there. Stick to the bit, dude. Thank you. Yeah, dude. Thank you. And Straight then, talk wireless. But that's just TFAT K because Brendan is the white boy that worked too much. <laughs> they stole a hun- one point six million dollars. Okay, I'm, I'm losing yeah. It. Brendan is like down on his luck, dude. He yeah. lost a lot of money. Good, yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you got me, dude. <laughs> All right, let's finish this clip. Oh, wait. Yeah, man. Yep. Man, no privacy, though. I think she's cute. I she's mean, no, everybody does. Cute. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm not the only no. one. I'm not no, new no. to this. Any kid, I'm, I'm any in my job come heartbeat. lately. Yeah. Yeah. Hot, hot, yeah, she's hot. hot. Yeah, she's hot. She's That's what I would say. Extreme in her views, I think, but she's hot. I don't need to listen. Oh, dude, I convert to whatever view she, whatever, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. I'll vote for Biden. I, I agree with you. <laughs> Those no, no, tits no, no. make she's, me she's vote Nancy Pelosi. She's super conservative. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. She's Pick hardcore. her up. She's hardcore conservative. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. She's got hot. Yeah. Hard, 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 hard. And owns a gun. Bubba knows nothing. Rock rock. And, and, and is a gun, gun-toting uh, Second Amendment hey. girl. Good. And, and literally. <laughs> <laughs> Holy oh, shit. Damn, it, dude, dude. We did not see that coming. Bro, he did Full it. Full circle. Dude. It's almost like he knew what we were going to do. Yeah. Man, what a what a way to end it. Wow. Oh, well, let's talk a little bit here, dude. Okay. Why is the poster here? Uh, listen, to go back to, to make two clear points here. First of all, Ryan Joseph, great guy. I've never yeah. met him. Very good chef work. Great chef. Uh, but the other counterpoint here, I had to preface with that. The other counterpoint, oh, I got two points. Good. <laughs> um, huge Brendan Shop fan right here, sitting next to you here. Sure. Love the guy. Mm-hmm. Could, you know, if you ignore a couple things, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Uh, great guy. Sure. Probably hates Asians a lot, but he's really <laughs> cool, right? He says, he. you never seen a stand-up? Um, <laughs> is Shop trying to get canceled? What about that is remotely close to getting canceled? Dudes love tits, dude. Oh, I mean, because he's just saying all that shit about tits. Oh, he's like being disrespectful to women. You said the sign, though, the fighter. That's like exactly like our sign. It's just different uh, font. Like it looks like they got it from the same Amazon person (laughs) that we did. They're copying us now. Maybe they're trolling us now. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you got our chairs? Well, we're going to get your freaking sign, although they probably did before. But Bro, if they start doing there will be blood references, then we're in trouble, B. I would love it. Because that, like, yeah, do silent. Do like a little bit yeah. like BC, the prez. You know how he yeah. drops his shit all smooth and then it skits and bits. Maybe they need a little bit of skits and bits. You know what, too, dude? I think there's a way we can try to infiltrate, you know, thick boy headquarters, dude. Right. One of us should work there. Oh, uh, that's, I'm not looking no, for a far. job, B. Okay, yeah, no, uh, I'm talking for real. Dude. I'll just, hey, go. I'm making a real point here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate Good. doing that voice, dude. So I much. love it. I love every moment of it. Uh, I'm making a point here, Cooney. <laughs> <laughs> dude, imagine, imagine Brian Callen saying Cooney. Ooh. That'd be good, but he'd be so angry with us. Yeah, you're we're right. Way, we're way meaner to Brian, I think, yeah. than we are to Scoob. Good. <laughs> um, What was I saying? Oh, Get this. Do you know how they do fan submissions? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The videos that they watch. Yeah. If people that watch Timos, there's like 20 of you, right? <laughs> P- 
people that watch Timos, if you start putting in fan submissions for the golden hour, just like I want them to be swarmed with what's your favorite. There will be bloodline dude. Just please. Yeah, dude. Like if you could do fan submissions with like funny, not crazy, but stuff from our show. Like, yeah, there will be blood. Specifically, there will be blood. There will be blood would be a good idea. Yeah, you got dude. the best brands. You're best right. brands Try with beat. that. Start with that, and then we'll see if there's anything else. I mean, Dalia, Griffin, and Shab just riffing on there will be blood. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm coming, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. I was, to- <laughs> alert. <laughs> I was trying to do a Shabism. I didn't. I, he never says that, though, right? He says, uh, I'm rock hard. Yeah, well, he just said yeah. that, yeah. Well, I'm rock hard. Here you say balls deep. Oh, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, that's it. That's that's the that's the show. End of the episode, dude. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Later.